Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, owner of Kids Aloud, and welcome to our first newsletter of 2014. We've had a few parents mention the fact that they would um, be interested in us doing baby sign within the nursery. Um, it's something over the years that we've looked into and I do know that a number of other nurseries do do baby sign but we've always been keen not to offer lip service to something and that if we do something we do it really really well. So what I've done is asked the um, Kids Allowed Academy to get really familiar with Makaton and baby sign so that we can start to include this in the training for the Kids Allowed colleagues um, and that's something we'll be doing that training within the next four to six weeks which is really exciting for everybody and will allow us to introduce something new into the centre for the children. Um, the other thing we've done, um, having just done a preschool transition, is taken a look and listened to parent feedback about that. And it is going really, really well. Without exception, um, we're getting good feedback and it's something we certainly intend to do going forward. But we're just going to do it a little bit more frequently. We found this time, and it will have just been a fluke of how the birthdays fo have fallen, that there was quite a large group of children. And rather than do a very large group at any one time, we'll do more of them so that we can have a slightly smaller group. So that might might be four or five a year depending on age groups. Um, another thing we've been asked about is how we can share ideas of things to do at home with the parents and a very simple way of doing that because it's free and it already exists is a social media site called Pinterest. Um, we've now added a Kids Allowed account to that and it's called Pinterest slash Kids Allowed UK um, and every day we're putting up just one or two interesting ideas of things that you can try at home and actually it's a great way of sharing um, ideas and best practice with the team as well so it's something that we hope over time will become a really valuable resource resource for parents and for the team. And finally, another um, bit of parent feedback was that the parenting courses around early years reading and writing have been a real eye-opener for parents and they've thoroughly enjoyed them. So we're going to do lots more of those, but we've also now, now added um, early years numeracy and um, creativity to those courses and you'll be getting some dates about those soon and we'd really really encourage people to come along to those. We found lots of toddler and preschool parents have engaged with it but not so many baby and waddler parents and we'd really um, like to persuade you guys to come along as well because this is about pre-skills so skills before reading before maths are formally introduced so it's really applicable as well to baby room and waddler room parents so the more of you the merrier. <laughs> Just a few important reminders for our parents. Um, the first one is that if someone's coming along to collect your child that's not known to us, and sometimes that could be a child's parent, it's just really, really important that we give an advance notice so that we can be given visual description and password. Um, we have had um, occasion recently where people have arrived to collect children that are just not known to us and of course we haven't let them through but it can lead to some unhappiness and we don't want confrontation in the reception um, area, it's really really important, it's a welcoming place for children to come. We know we're doing the right thing by not letting people through and we will never ever, no matter how persuasive or angry somebody is, let them through but please to avoid this, all it takes is a quick phone call, we then have a procedure that we follow which involves calling you back on a known number to make sure that that is a valid instruction that we can follow it and it's there to protect your child so please um, if you're in that situation make sure you follow the process. A um, bit of good news, um, as you know Kids Allowed aspires to be outstanding in every regard and our academy which delivers our own qualifications to our colleagues has just had its inspection from cash and at the end of the day we got full marks and cash's words were we can't think of any recommendations, what we've seen is so fabulous, it's best practice and we need to spread this th further. So well done to the academy team, really proud of you. Um, and finally, some of you may have a leaflet through the door about our um, potential Altrincham site. This is a leaflet trying to gather support so that hopefully we will get through planning consent nice and um, easily in February. Um, planning consent though is never easy and the more support that we can have the better. So if you are in this catchment and you have had that leaflet, it'd be absolutely wonderful if you could pass that through. With a fair wind, we may have a centre open in September 2015, but at the end of the day, at the moment, we're in the planner's hands, so that's as long as a piece of string. But the the more help and support we get, the better.
In addition to the workshops that Kids Aloud are running for the parents, we are also working with some uh, specialists in their fields to offer you some exciting workshops around other topics. One of them is food intolerances and uh, children that are difficult eaters. And we've got um, local uh, well-known paediatrician, Dr. Colin Bernstein, to run um, a workshop for our parents around that topic. Workshops on the 18th of February, and it's hosted at Cheadle, but it is available to all of the Kids Aloud parents. And we hope uh, many of you that are interested in that topic will attend. And if that's successful, Colin has said that he will run um, other workshops for Kids Aloud parents. So that's an exciting new relationship that we're developing there. Um, and finally, we're also going to be running some more um, first aid training courses for our parents. We know how important this is and we know that our parents that attended the last round of uh, workshops really, really enjoyed them. So there are more dates coming on stream for that too. And finally, a really big thank you to the Cheadle parents who responded to our questionnaire about the travel survey. There's a lot of data to work through and we're doing that as we speak. So I'm hoping within the next three to four weeks, we'll have some ideas about how we can respond to the traffic congestion in the area. Mm -hmm.